What is up, everybody? We're going to go ahead and run TA2 using two Shige Shiges. I'm going to teach you how to get mad money experience. Uh, right now, uh, it's at 9x. Uh, it's really good for monster experience as well. So if you have cards that are not 2 or 110, go ahead and try to get them in there. Uh, I'm trying to think. This is the build that I have come up with. The most important part is probably this Yushiro right here. It voids the damage, and it gives us a fresh board reset. It gives us exactly the same board uh, that Shige Shige normally gives us. And uh, Awoken Killers, we'll get to that later. Uh, really, you know, Whaley card. Uh, this isn't 100% um, necessary, but for the skill boost and the damage that she provides, that's the whole reason she's there. But the other two damage dudes are these Zelgadises. Um, they have um, seven uh, 1.5 bolt supplier, comes up to like 17x, uh, gives you a ton of damage, individual damage. And if you super awoken them, they probably hit um, 120 real quick, give you another big old damage spike. Uh, most of the killers that you're going to be finding are these healer killers. I noticed that this card is really good, gives us a healer killer. Uh, I, Tengu, very good, very good. I would recommend putting it on him. And then last and not least, uh, Jurok and Madron turns into my boy Jurond, and uh, he's very good, gives us a bunch of time extend, and uh, more importantly, uh, gives us 15 turns of extra Sky Woodfall. I'd recommend just, you know, peeing him up. I think it's like 15 peas to do it if you only have one. And then my Shige Shige partner is just like my best friend, but he kind of is like poor or something, so, <laughs> so we're just going to run... Just to kind of show you a basic build up from where we're starting from the game. But uh, let's go ahead and start. I first pop this guy to give us the Skyfalls that we need. It looks like we have enough orbs. I think seven green orbs is usually enough to do most of this dungeon. But I'll tell you when we need it otherwise. But, um, oh, whoops, probably used an extra two that I didn't need to use there. Oh, no. Just running through all my orbs. That's okay. We're going to have a bunch of actives and... Uh, as you can see, we're doing a crap ton of damage, even without defense breaking them on the first turn. I'm going to go ahead and use my Artemis active here to uh, be able to have it down the road. Um, I would recommend just doing one... Uh, let's see, let me just try to get this going before I start talking. Uh, let's see if I get lucky. Yep, we got lucky. I would do a seven combo with uh, seven green orbs. Eight green orbs if you don't have all the right killers. Uh, it's very important to use the right equipment on all times. I don't think I kind of messed that one up, so I'm going to have to use my active here. I'm not even particularly playing well on this, and we're still, like, doing pretty well. Um, just talking and uh, playing pad are not exactly the easiest thing to do. But we used a nine green combo right there. Hopefully we... No, no, we're not getting very many good orbs here. But uh, we might have to pop another active that we don't want to pop yet. Um, here's the thing. We can stall one turn. Now, the, problem, the, the positive thing about having um, not using your void damage break so early is that you have a lot of time to yourself to be able to just generate more green orbs. And I could even just have Skyfall. Like, I don't even try to kill this guy. But we just happened to get super lucky enough that we were able to generate it. But we were going to be completely fine there. Now, this is where the guard break is really helpful. And having three Awoken Killers on your uh, Shige Shige is going to be really useful. Um, I'd recommend uh, just putting one on them. But uh, but like that. Like we're going to save some orbs and still hit seven combo. And uh, it should be enough. Because these guys have like a billion defense. And it's like impossible to kill them. So without the void damage break, it's really difficult. This card should be able to be disposed. Most Valks only need about seven green orbs, but uh, for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, eight, just because, and we didn't get the seven combo, so hopefully it's enough damage. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, okay. Usually the red, Valk, red cards usually give you a little bit of pause, but uh, on this turn, I would recommend spiking your Zelgatis. She's usually pretty tanky, unless you have a lot of orbs, I'd recommend just doing it that way, and then just running a couple TPAs, and then that's generally enough damage, like 90% of the time. But just match combo as well, try to hit 7, I didn't hit 7 there, I still got a green orb, so we're getting a little lucky on this run, but uh, yeah, 
Keep moving. Easy card. Easy card. Keep it going. Uh, Genie, we could stall for one turn. We still have another defense break, but this is another part of why the defense break on um, the card uh, your Shiro is really helpful. Now, you don't have to use your Shiro. I just like him for his active because I get to generate a bunch of uh, different orbs. You know, it gives me a pretty much a, a full, like a one third board of green and hopefully more. But, uh, you know, it's up to you. You know, your mileage may vary on that. Uh, this one, we have a red. So I would recommend in this instance to just nine combo him and, uh, or not nine combo. Uh, oh, shoot. I forgot to do that. Hopefully we get lucky. Yep. Okay. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to hit nine green orbs, is what I was trying to say. Kind of wasn't thinking, but the same instance is there. If it wasn't a red demon, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it's better be, to be good or lucky than good. So, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal. Uh, last bit, we're going to go ahead and just nuke this guy. Not really important, um, but, oh shoot, I probably could have saved a combo there, but as long as you hit 7 combo and a couple TPA, you already have the 5 multiplier, which is huge. So, uh, for this guy, you really, none of the demons are red, which is the most important part, right? And, uh, Jaren's active is going to give us eight orbs so you know not ideal not ideal for sure but i still think we'll have enough damage just from uh all of our actives and stuff so hopefully we get a little lucky with the green spall and we got lucky there and it gives us the full damage we also have the five multiplier still so we're doing a crap ton of damage and we have a couple of demon killers and dragon killers on our team right there. So, there you go. That's how you run this dungeon. Pretty easy. They have some decent rewards. Uh, you can max skill all of these guys if you haven't done it before. It's a very good dungeon uh, just to be able to try to level up. Uh, I've been pretty lazy and I haven't tried to hit um, 1,000 yet. So there you go. See, I ran that in like just five minutes flat. Here's another one. Five minutes flat. You know, these this thing is really fast and easy. You don't really have to think about it. Uh, but try to match seven combo and about eight to seven green orbs at every time. The only times I'd really be worried is if you're running into any red uh, demons or uh, anything that uh, might mitigate damage. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You should be able to beat it with like 90% consistency as long as you're hitting 7 combo. So, uh, good luck to y'all. Uh, the quest to 1000. We'll see. We'll see. I'll probably post a big old...